Autodesk cloud services and programs are here for one really big important thing, and that's to work with other people. And they make that possible. It gives you more tools so that you can work with other people even easier than you could before. Now, there are many ways to share and collaborate with others using these cloud-based tools from Autodesk. I'm of the opinion that soon, someday, it may still be years from now, but soon the days of emailing new versions of files to clients or to other coworkers will cease to exist. And let me tell you, I can't wait. I hate doing that. It just causes so many issues and trouble. If you're using Autodesk 360 and Autodesk's other cloud-based services, all you have to do is share the file right from within AutoCAD or from AutoCAD WS or through Autodesk 360. Let me show you how to do that from all three of these programs. Sharing through AutoCAD is very easy to do. Open up the file, then go to the online tab, and I'm already here. Just click the share document button and it will upload the file. Of course, you have to save it first. And it will bring it up into Autodesk 360 and it will let you save your files right there. So AutoCAD 2013 has this folder called Autodesk 360, and if you have it turned on, like I showed you in a previous section, to automatically save your files, it will. So when you save your files in this folder on your computer, it will automatically make a copy in the cloud. So you will have it here. So if your internet goes down, you still have all of your files right here. You can work, which is great. So to share a document, you just click on the Share Documents button here, and then you'll follow the on-screen instructions. Save it, and then go. Sharing through AutoCAD WS is very easy, too. Just go to the file, pick it on the box here, and then click Share. Put in the email address of the person you want to send it to, and then click on these Set Permissions buttons. This will allow them to edit the file or to just download the file, or both. So what's the difference? Well, edit the file means they're able to edit it in AutoCAD WS. Well, if you don't want them to do that, you just want them to be able to look at it, then make sure there's an X by it. Now, if you leave this marked, they'll be able to just look at it on AutoCAD WS, but it will allow them to download the file so that they'll have a real copy of it. So if you want to send a file to somebody just to look at, you can do this, and they can see it, they can view it online from wherever they're at, or from their mobile device, like a tablet or a smartphone and they can check it out and say yes I like that this is good let's do it if you just want them to be able to edit it on AutoCAD WS or Autodesk 360 then you can do that make sure this is checked and then this is unchecked so it just depends on what you need to do with your client hit apply and close send in a little note right here and they will get an email at this address to alert them hey you have the file there will be a link in there they can click that link and it will automatically open up AutoCAD WS what version of the file do they have well all they have to do is actually go to the file itself and go to the timeline and they can go and see you know you have the current version and you know what the older versions looked like so that eliminates a lot of issues now sharing in Autodesk 360 is also easy, and it's very similar to AutoCAD WS. So if you go to your Autodesk 360 account, go to your Documents tab right here, and you have a lot of different folders, just however you have it set up and organized, and you have your files here. You can view them in a list like this, or you can look at them with thumbnail previews, just however you want to look. I like lists. I'm just that type of guy. So it shows you the file name here who owns it, the size of it, and the last day that it was modified on. When you upload a file from AutoCAD or AutoCAD WS, keep in mind that it is being saved in your Autodesk 360 account. You don't have separate accounts for those three different software services. They're all saved on your Autodesk 360 account. So your shared information, regardless of the source that you shared it from, it's going to be here in Autodesk 360. The Autodesk 360 is kind of your master manager, and we're going to talk a little bit about the controls that are available to you in a section coming up here. But this is where you're going to control everything. So to share a file through Autodesk 360, just find the file you want to share, click it, and then you can come to your controls right here. It's the actions. You can also get to them right up here in the top and click on the share. Now, there are two ways to share a file from Autodesk 360 private and public. 
private sharing is going to look very familiar. It's not currently being shared, but you can tell the person right here. You can enter in their email address, add them. You can even go to your contacts manager and then save the file this way. Now, this is going to be a private share, and it's going to send them directly to that person via email. Now, the other version of sharing was public sharing. If you click that, you can turn this off or turn it on. If you turn it on, it creates a link. Now, this link can be put on a website, can be put in an email, it can be uh, tweeted, put on Facebook, or anything like that. Now, you have some settings for it. You can make a copy of it, you can email it, you can see the preview of it, you can embed it. So this is all the code. This is how to get the code out of here to give the link to the public people. And when it's on, this right now, because I have this turned on, anyone can find this file. I'm going to turn this off right before I finish this. So you won't be able to see the file, but you could if you tried to look at it right now. And you can turn this off or on, and you can allow this document to be downloaded or copied if you want to. But if I turn it off, then you can't. People will just be able to go to it and look at it, and that's it. And then just hit close, and you can send it off that way. So in all these cases, be AutoCAD, AutoCAD WS, or Autodesk 360, they'll all let you share your files in different ways that are similar, and you can comment on the files too. And when you do comment on the other files, the person that you're sharing the file with will be made aware of it via email or when they open up the appropriate software. AutoCAD is a little bit different because to collaborate with it, you must open your file in AutoCAD WS. But that makes things a little bit easier for you. You can be working in the file and you can call your client and then go right to an AutoCAD WS session and start collaborating with them. So I can start a collaborate right now button, click on that, and it will open up your file to AutoCAD WS and will start your session. You can just share your document, you can upload your file, and you can get to some of your online options right here as well.